Go ahead, Ms. Michelle. Um, I want to take this time to acknowledge our colleague, uh, Councilwoman Eva Worthing. Yeah. For six years, you've put up with hell. It doesn't matter who you were going to be. It started from your very first meeting. Well, I've watched you over the years. I watched you have to go back and forth with the audience. Thank you. I, I, the average bear wouldn't do it. You know, people come just to make our life hell. People show up just to be disorderly. And we're talking about all the way from the everyday citizen all the way down to um, I guess people with prestige in the community. Um, thank you, everyone. It's been a pleasure serving with you. And everyone deserves literally a medal. I, no, more than a medal. I don't know. Whatever the greatest prize is for, for putting up with this. This is not normal. And it's not healthy to, I, I don't know how I made it six and a half years, because it is not healthy just even mentally for those who aren't even being screamed at and yelled at and blamed for other people's life problems. Um, just the, the clerk and those around that have to sit in here, the staff, like I feel for them. So many have left and I watched staff member after staff member leave because no one can stay in this type of environment. And it's sad. Um, and I believe I'm one of the last to go, like in the group that I started with, um, which it, I don't feel, it was pretty dumb to stay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm Eva Worthing, I'm Flint City Councilwoman for the Ninth Ward. In and you teach children. You teach children. You, you teach children, and you're comfortable saying ghetto. Excuse, excuse me, me excuse me. Point of order, Councilwoman Worthing. Councilwoman Worthen, you've been given personal attacks all evening. So let her finish with her statement. I you've did. made your statement. Let Councilwoman um, Burns finish. Excuse myself. This is not fair, Madam Chair. Uh, you're not gonna she, 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 was, she was speaking. Point of order, Madam. Point of order. Either she can excuse herself or be escorted out by Matt Kaplan, just she like the speaking. black folks. She was speaking. Did you call a port of order? She was Point speaking. of order. Let her get escorted have, out like the black folks. Um, Don't Ms. discriminate. Mr. Metcalf. I'm not going to stand here about my profession is mentioned. While I was threatened by the judge. Point of order. She don't get and the flow to talk. Ghetto. Can I get the chair you back? Is a teacher. Um, you know she what? Stop. Talk stop. Right Everybody with. stop. Stop. Let's move on. And if you keep bringing it up, we'll never move on. We'll never move this city forward. I have so many things that I could bring up about my hurts. I've been through abuse in this environment for six years. I, I must be mental to stay here because my work has been called. And people accuse me of being a bad teacher uh, because of the racial rhetoric here. When I love my students and they loved me, they knew nothing about this. They didn't learn till later, till they started watching TikToks. She coming out. She coming out. Don't. It's on camera. It's on camera. Come do it. Come do it, Tanya. Come do it. Understand that. I care about those who cannot afford insurance, but I don't think it's the city's responsibility to pay for the damages if they can't afford it or they can't get it. Point of information. I, I Did you know? Not excuse me. Point What's your name? Thank you. Excuse me. You're, you're being rude and you interrupted me and I didn't allow you to take I'm the floor. Excuse, so, me. excuse me. Miss, no, I was Ms. Burns has a point of information. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just the um, person in Council Ward 9. No, it's not that they can't afford insurance. It's not offered to them because it's redlined. Big difference. You're, you seem very passionate about it, but I didn't even get to state my point. So if you and I didn't get to finish my statement you were talking. I asked you if you were done. Okay. Miss Worthing, please continue. I don't know what you mean by redlined, but I do know that if you're... Point of information. Go ahead, which person? the person number nine know you can Google it. I don't know your interpretation of what you're even talking about, to be honest. However... <laughs> 
uh, a home must be up to code in order to get insurance. So I want to know, why can't they get insurance? Is their road not up to code? Is, are there things that need to be, I mean, we all have to do it. If we own a home, every single one of us have to meet certain requirements to get insurance. So my concern with this is it almost sounds like council members, some council members want to pay off members of the community uh, because they're saying, hey, I'm your hero, and I'm going to give you this money to fix your home. <laughs> we have houses for a reason because we've had council members want to give away houses and do this and that for people. And it just starts becoming, in my opinion, it just sketchy. Uh, we can't point of that. information. What's your point? Um, does she know that red line means to be in an area that is deemed to be in poor or, finan poor or financial risk? I Googled it for you. Good job. I'm glad Go ahead, Ms. Spreading. <laughs> so, um, we can't, I, I don't know if you know this, but we have a limited amount of money. And how are we supposed to decide what emergency is more important than others? It is clear that you are not understanding what is going on. And instead of allowing Ms. Donahue to address this, uh, you chose to threaten me in some way. So I thought that was inappropriate, Ms. Uh, Winfrey Carter. So if you had not said what you said, there would have been no reaction. Okay, when you're a chair, you should be professional and treat everyone the same. And it's very clear from the beginning uh, that this is not fair treatment. There, were, there was no violence. It is, I try not to say anything because it's just more hate. It's just thrown at my way all the time. Um, but it is hard to sit here and listen to lies constantly. If I have ever hit anyone, there would be a report. I would have been arrested. And it's just sad to me that it's like over and over like you're wishing it becomes true that I actually did something to hurt somebody. I've never hit somebody in my life. Um, so it's just ridiculous to have to go through this over and over ad nauseum. Um, I mean, let's get over it and move on. Um, I, I stood up to leave. Good, because you know what? This is not going to be your day. I'm going to let you know that. Oh, it's not your day. It's not your day. Get up, everyone. Get up, everyone. Get up, everyone. Oh, no. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Forget about that. that. See, you better not shoot me. Get up. Five minute recess. Oh, you need a That's her second one. Five That's her. I'm five ten, with heels on taller. I towered over her. I was over here. She's over there. Her second one, yes, man. Like she need to have her. Eric did that, okay. and you gave him two more. No, she should have had a one. No, she should have had a one. You told her to be quiet. For real, man. What is this, intimidation by staring at me? I'm not intimidated. You know that you won't get out of your seat. The council person in the sixth ward keeps referring to, um, I don't know what she's referring to, other things, as if I would have said or have said anything of that matter. Um, she is incorrect, and I want to clarify that. Um, her attempts to portray me in a negative light are noted every single meeting and every single opportunity she has on social media and elsewhere. Um, I don't talk like that. I simply called a point of order because I was called the Councilwoman Karen. That is racist. It is inappropriate and unbecoming for an elected official. Let us speak at the, on the matter at hand uh, and, and without making racist remarks. 
Thank you. Point of order. What what rule's been broken? Madam Chair, black people cannot be racist. That's an improper point of order, Ms. Byrne. So, so please don't. Uh, Eric Mays is no longer here to do any business for his residents or the city of Flint. He is here to make money off of the council by suing the city, um, creating chaos, purposefully getting removed from meetings so that he can make money off of TikTok. So no, there is absolutely no reason that talking with Eric Mays or any of the others that cause chaos outside of council to try to search a resolution. No, um, I've heard team building. There's no team building that will work when you are dealing with a group that is purposeful in preventing the work of the city to get done. And this is why we're here. I find the blue bear to be disgusting uh, because it's only used for one member. Uh, I was called, what was I just called? Gangster. Gangster. I didn't stand up and scream and holler and say point request for information. Um, did, did someone put me? Am I a bear? Because I surely know that to like some of the other council members here. So to say put the bear and sexist is wrong and we need to stop doing it. Still part of that, that baby. Drinking that coffee. Excuses Excuse given. Please. The excuse he's given for bad behavior is, um, it's a problem to me. It's happened in every council. You poke him. Yet, we sit here while we're called all kinds of names. Senior chief had Negroes, all kinds of names. And I've never seen, Madonna has not um, raised her voice. Oh, excuse me. Hey, excuse me, sir. Exactly. You don't have the floor, and all you cannot speak out like that. So don't interrupt me. Um, I normally don't respond, but our water is better than it was in 2014. I, I don't understand. I believe it's just political, uh, the statements that were made, because our water has been tested. It is safe. I use it daily. Um, so do many other people. I get no complaints about water quality from anyone in my ward. I really don't have a lot to say, but I'm absolutely 100% going to once again state I've never touched jazz in my life. And in fact, she hit me. Witnesses from administration. So, how disgusting that one would come in here and accuse me of something um, that did not happen. According to council rules, uh, a council member may not speak in public speaking. We will have order in the chambers or we will clear out the chambers. Please allow me to rule on. This is your first warning, Ms. Muhammad. I sure will. That's your second warning. That's your second warning. Madam Important information. Would the chair like me to repeat it now? Yeah. I called you a narcissistic asshole. Still stands. Hey, look. Can somebody... That's your second warning. You want to appeal that? No, it's not. You want to appeal it? Point of order. You're in the first, and I asked you before I okay. repeated it, Mr. Mays. And you better hope you win the first, because if you lose the first, the second one that you just did going to get you out of here. Now, don't y'all think I can cuss? I'm trying to tell folks, whether it's lady or man, there's been some nasty people on this council. Ms. Worthing, 
Kate Fields, and they proud. Now, they talking about how I talk to them or respond to them. I can assure you 100% mid-Michigan now. That ain't the first time that female, she just happened to be white. Maybe it's a cultural difference. And my colleagues, my learned colleagues, whether they black or white, they don't never say a mindless word. You're a bully, Tanya. You're staring at me, you look at me mean, and then you complain about me. And then call me a victim, and call me a Karen, and mention my race. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not afraid of you. I'm sitting here, and I'm successful. I'm doing my job, and I'm not going to be bullied. So stop. You're just wasting our time. And you're, I don't know if you're very unhappy with your life or what, but go bully someone else. Because nothing you say is going to hurt me. I don't think about you ever outside of this council, ever. But it seems like you think about me a lot. And I'm sorry that you do. I just go about my day. I teach the children during the day. I have a great day, I come here, and it's, we didn't get our way in the council meeting, so we're gonna bully Eva today. Yeah, it's sad. I feel sorry for you, I do. Um, I'm gonna be here, so you can keep it up, you can laugh, you can bully, you can be mean girls over there, but I will be here. I give her permission to go to the top of the Mackinac Bridge and do a three-time somersault. I give her permission to go to the roof of City Hall and do a double flip belly flop. Now you gonna try to justify her wrongness by talking about I gave her permission, I asked, did she asked me did she want to say it again? I will be here. I will be here. I will be here.